Hey guys, it's Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com and I'm on a bit of a tear today. This is my third video. I've been shooting a lot of uh, footage today for Drawing Tutorial Online members, but this Drawing Tip of the Week I want to talk to you about, um, well, let's go over to my easel and I'll tell you what I want to talk to you about. Alright, so basically you guys have seen this drawing before. This is a, a landscape um, drawing that I'm doing for a landscape tutorial. Now it's been a while since I've worked on this um, drawing. So uh, it's been a long while. I kind of put it away for a bit while I moved and now I just brought it back out and I'm finishing it, it, it up. So I'm working on this barn and this barn is an old decrepit barn um, from the 1800s and, and you can see that I have all of these perspective lines of the clapboards kind of going back into perspective. They're all a little bit crooked. You want to be careful when you're doing these perspective lines of all the different boards. If you outline each one of these boards, your, your drawing is going to kind of almost look like fake. So what you need to do is you, you need to kind of use your pencil in a different direction and you need to soften some of these lines and and show me all the beautiful texture that you'd see like in an old decrepit barn so you know you want to you want to be careful big time that i guess the analogy would be is if you're if you are kind of painting a brick wall the worst thing that you can do with that brick wall is outline every single brick because again instant instant stylized fakeness so you know, I get the perspective in to try to, um, you know, figure out the whole drawing and, and map it out. And then I would come on in and I'd, I'd use all these different textures. I mean, this um, barn has, uh, this side of the barn is in this shaded area. And it's been shaded for many, many years. And so this is a wonderful opportunity for you, the artist, to come on in and show me all the cool things that have been happening like um, you know stained wood and some mold growing and, and chips in the wood and and stuff like that so that's pretty much what I'm trying to do and and the way that you do that is with um, pencil stroke direction and a little bit of patience so um, this side of this barn is probably going to take me all day to render out so I you know I'm first what I did was I just kind of went in this direction and um, now I'm kind of going over that baseline tone that I put in and uh, I could come on down and I can separate some of these pieces of wood I mean you really kind of want to have a and this will this will break that that pattern too of this long perspective I mean the long perspective thing is kind of cool because it you know it brings your eye into the background if that's what you want but you just don't want your drawings to be like fake and when I mean fake I mean fake and everything is just too perfect um, you know, you want to have some areas that are blurred, some areas with texture, some areas with diverse pencil stroke. You can even come on in and you can smudge a little bit. Um, there's other things that I'm doing with this barn. Like over here, I started really focusing in on the contour of the barn. And I want this, this last uh, section of the barn. It's like a little added section that was added on after the barn was initially built. And I'm just trying to make this more of a silhouetted shape. And I'm not pushing too much texture here in the background. The texture that I'm pushing in the background is just all about the edge of the barn. Okay, So even when I come on down over here, I'm trying to show, I haven't gotten to it yet, but I'm going to try to show the difference between, like, say, this stone, old stone kind of crumbling foundation and the actual wood wood itself. So I've got pretty damn good reference. I mean, you want to, the, the barn is kind of very far away. So you can't really show little like little things like nail holes, but you can show like all the little knots in the wood and um, it just takes like a little bit of time and, and, and you want to, again, promote the crookedness of everything when you're drawing something like this. I mean, I'm starting to like this section. I've, I do have a ways to go, but uh, you know, this is going to be part of the drawing that's really, really, really um, totally detailed out. Now, when I work on this, I also want to take into consideration that I can't have it look like this barn is floating. So I have to take some of these beautiful darks that I'm putting into the side of the wood and feather them out into the grass that's in the shade. Okay, so um, yeah, that that's about it for this um, drawing tutorial. Uh, like I said, this is a um, a tutorial this this drawing was put away for a couple months while I moved into my new studio and new home and uh, it's finally out and I'm gonna finish it this week so thanks for watching